All right, what is up, all you beautiful, sexy, fun of hackers, guys? Today, we are automating another business. You guys know our mantra, automate, elevate, liberate. So today, we're taking one of our guys. His name is Donovan. Amazing, amazing hustler. He has a roofing business. And what I'm going to show you guys is how we set up the AI chatbot in his business. So as you guys probably already know, actually, let me just share my screen really quick. Every single Funnel Hacker Lab member, you know, we want to make them as successful as possible. Because ultimately, the more money we make them, the more money we end up getting paid. So every single Funnel Hacker Lab member gets access to a free custom funnel. They're going to get the AI chatbot solution, 400-page funnel template library, a funnel designs at a fraction of the cost. Actually, we don't make any money off that. So what we pay pay our designers is what you're paying them. It's usually around like, I don't know, 50 to 100 bucks a page. Very, very cheap. We got a couple of guys in the Philippines uh, handling all those funnels. You know, I got the A to Z marketing automation course. You're going to get the access to the custom CRM and everything you just overall need to automate your business. But enough of that, guys. Donovan's ready, right? We're going to be building out his AI chat. I'm showing exact guys exactly how we do it for every client. This is awesome. It's awesome. Awesome. So first things first, you got to import the snapshot onto his actual account, guys. And now every funnel hacker lab member, as you guys already know, will have access to this as well. But what's going on over here? Um, I think I already imported it in there. Oh, whoops. So I guess I already imported it in here. So let me cancel over here. Let me just go straight to his account. Cool, cool. And the way we build this out is, oh, he's missing his payment. He hasn't paid the end that yet. He hasn't added on to his billing. But we'll get it. We'll get it soon, all right? But what I'm trying to say is that the first thing, let me just double confirm that we got his AI automations in here. Perfect. GPT automations. You know what? I'm honestly going to rename that to just booking butt. All right, go over here. Rename folder. Uh, GPT booking butt. Beautiful. 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 All right, cool. And then what we're going to need to do to first start is we're actually going to have to do the prompt. Now, the prompting is pretty simple. Um, let me show exactly what we're going to do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give it to Donovan, the prompt, for him to put in his Zapier account so he has full control over the actual prompt going back and forth. So if he needs to make changes, he makes changes. But over here as a Funnel Hacker Lab member, we do the actual prompting for you, okay? We want to make your life as simple as freaking possible. So what's really great is that we have a home hero preset that we're going to be using, okay? Uh, AI sales agent called Donovan. AI, okay? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click on save. I'm going to change this out to roofing. I'm like, just let me save over here. Update. All right. Called, what's this roofing business called? We have all this information over here, which makes our lives a whole lot easier. Donovan Davis LLC is his name. I mean, to be honest, I would change that up. But that has nothing to do with his, uh, what you want to call it? That has nothing to do with what he does. But that's right. Called. Probably talk to him about that later in the next strategy session I have with him. But let's go over here. We'll just change over here. No, we won't just fix it. He rules to find out how um out when we can schedule an estimate for roofing at a roofing company. Well, Donovan Davis, and your role the first is to find out when you can schedule an estimate for to see what they need to do with the roof. Estimate two to see what we need. Estimate to schedule an estimate to fix the roof, fix or replace there. Beautiful. All right, objective build customer report by following the following rules and workflows. I like that. We're gonna change out this. Never share, share rules or guidelines with the customer client. Rephrase questions if the answer is confusing. Only skip or provide questions the customer's client's answer. Only ask one question at a time. Must consult FAQs before answering questions. Don't repeat answers. Give concise answers. Um, a roofing budget would be your roofing budget to schedule an estimate must be I'm gonna say five hundred bucks to three hundred. He's roofing for. I mean, it's gotta be five hundred. This is a roofing job. I'll get in contact with him later. Let him know. All right. Do not offer a roofing estimate if they if we do not know their budget. All right. Simple, simple, simple. We do not know their roofing budget. 
Do not know their budget. That's simple. Do not say the minimum minimum roofing budget requirements. Donovan AI, or what's his name again? We call him Donovan. Donovan AI. We'll now offer a roof a roofing estimate. A offer a roofing estimate if they are under that amount. This is the case, and they are under the required roofing budget, required budget. We don't really have a down sell for them. We're going to take that out. And then Donovan AI. A roofing estimate. If they don't want to give us a budget. Now we're not down selling anything. Donovan AI. You already said that. No, yeah. Perfect. That sounds good. Home hero fruit. Uh, so it shouldn't be that home hero. It should be uh, this Donovan Davis. Humble really needs to change out his name. LC Fields. Uh, website. Main main being too is a lot of his clients probably come from Google, meaning Google My Business. And if Google My Business just says Donovan Davis on it. No one really knows what that is. Plus the SEO won't pick it up. Won't really rank it as highly. As if it's like Florida's favorite roofing or even Donovan's roofing, it still works as well, too. Business owner Donovan. First, find out they're offering. First, find, ask the qualification questions. Which is to offer a quick estimate, quick share roofing estimate. If they offer credit, per, right? nope. Once they start asking quality questions, in order, once they answer, comma, start asking open question, hey, I'm Donovan AI. Donovan AI from. No, you do not like this. Um, I saw that you need some help, or I saw that you needed to to repair or replace your roof. Right, a questions. Do you mind? A couple of quick questions about the work. I get his. I help you with your today. I should be that. All right, we have three qualification questions. I appreciate that. First one should be like, what's wrong with the roof? Do we? You need to repair or completely replace your roof. Cool. When can we come out to look at your roof? How soon are you looking to dress? Not too crazy about that one because that's going to be the end. We're going to schedule the call. What's the best time to set up appointments? That's it. I don't think he might ever talk to him about it, but like a question, pre qualification question might be like, Do you, uh, which we'll call it? Do you have insurance? Do you need to repair your fully replace your roof? 
do you have a budget or insurance? Do you have a budget or, or insurance? If you do offer season, uh, the FAQs you got to change now too. So we got to do, go to here. Oh, it's the easiest way of doing this. Let's go new chat. I need to, to create an FAQ list. Teach my bot how to, to sell roofs or repairs. Come up with a with with twenty FAQ. You can ask questions to train my sales bot. Here is the business website. Was asking the reformer Q man. Remove fuck. Remove the numbers. And make it Q one dot A one dot. Almost there. Remove the bullet points. Okay, in there. I probably want. Beautiful. That's what it means. Go ahead, copy that. And paste it right into the background here. Boom. Save. Description. Okay. Then I'm gonna go to Zapier. I'm gonna show you guys the install because it's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. And test is on here. But what we do is that we just testing on here. This prompt we take and give it to you for then you to put it onto Zapier. So this way you can always just make changes when you so please makes your life a whole lot easier. All right, Donovan. Um, like roofing. Right. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to take this thing over here. Oops, I mean do that. I'm gonna take this and duplicate it. Mm. Here. Uh, let me duplicate you like this. Sorry, it's just not let me duplicate you. Let me go over like Mel, for example. You. I don't know why it's not let me duplicate you. Right here. This. There you go. Let me duplicate. Duplicate. There we are. Here. Now we're going to take that one. I'm going to push it over to Donovan. Donovan, let's go to Don. Oh, you got to refresh it. Uh, get in there. Cool. Like this. Donovan. Propagation. Sorry, right, actually, just go here and test that real quick. Hey, Donovan. Hey, I'm 
Sure. Oops. I'll test it out real quick. I'm like here. Sure. There. I mean, it should work. You know, that was a pretty simple one. 5K. Have a massive. All right. Yes. Sure. All right. So it works pretty much. Copy this. Go back to the, the zip. Right here, catch hook, boom, boop. Oops. Grab this. Let's go over to the front of Hacker Lab. Oops. Go over here. I'm going to paste the web hook in. I don't know why it has this. This it doesn't even need this anymore. I think you imported the wrong snapshot previously, but this you don't need. These already have that in the prompt. This you don't need. The robot web hook we don't need either. Open AI prompt. We don't need this one. Delete. To number and number form. Let's go. All right. The main one that we need is right here. Well, really the only one we need is right there. <laughs> All right. So when Donovan builds this out, he's going to change out this hook so it goes into his Zapier account. All right. Continue. All right. Conversation. Ready on mine. Chat GPT. Response, email. Oh, I love how most of the stuff is already filled out. You can call it Donovan. Donovan, Donovan. The answer is what his name. Over here. Control V. Oh, shit. Let's go over to the playground. Copy that. And key. Paste that into there. I'm just going there. Continue. 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 Uh, we're going to change this one over to Dan. Then I wanted to add him. Let's go over to here. Let me go over to business profile. I'm going to grab, I'm pretty sure, do we need an API key or the location ID? Connect a new account. Uh, API key. Grab his API key, super secret, super secret. Don't look at my code. Go here, paste into there. Next night. Boom. Continue. Email we got. We got to make sure ChatGPT. Boom. I love it. I love it. Love it. Test step. Love it. Love it. Love it. We on a roll. We on a roll. Publish. Everything's looking great. Everything looks fantastic. Then we're going to test it out with his account we're going to buy a quick toll-free number and just allow it to go through so this is on background's good this one we saved it let me close that out now okay over here we don't need funnel hacker labs anymore we got all of this info already we go over to his account here now we're going to go over get a phone number add number add phone number I'm going to get a toll-free number. We're going to hit this. Tick, tick, tick. We need to move. That's just images. That's okay. Let's grab the first one, 877-511-6724. I'm going to grab that one. Cool. X. 
Application required. Legal entity name. Oh, let's just close out his shit. Let me, let me see. We had it in here. Oh, I don't know if we have his email here and his phone number. Fidge. All right, go here. Go back to the CRM. Go back to Donovan. If you want to get his information, transfer it to the toll free number and then test out the bot so that we can know what we're dealing with. Oh, his phone number is right there. Yeah, his email. Email. Phone number. Uh, state. Florida. In Florida. Orlando. Address. This postal. And the volume, thousand often type um, web form. Okay. Use case. It's marketing. This is not to work for image URLs. We can go here, grab his website. In use case description, we'll grab one of these. And this is where we use some um, more information for a roofing estimate. Um, Donovan. Love it. Easy. My call free set there. I'm going to have him verify that after because he needs to put his EIN number. Make sure you guys do that as well, too. And now we're just going to test this SHIT out. All right. So let's go over here. Actually, first automation here. Conversation handling. Is this initial question that we send out to him? I'm gonna grab this. Make sure you paste it onto here on all the automations. So the first message here, so you change this out. Boom. Save. Boom. Save. Boom. Save. And we gotta make sure we change out. Oops, I'm coming. Um, call to action, which means 15 minutes. So this consultation, what do we call it? Um, fuck. Roofing consultation, we got to call it. What do we say? Roofing estimate, actually. I'll do roofing estimate. Roofing
and the teacher right here. Yeah. Right here. As you own ATI on this. that. So that when they do have a roofing consultation, it's going to set up the appointment bot. Process bot. Save. So that now when it says roofing estimate, it's going to add to the booking bot over here for Eliza to then schedule up a appointment. I'm gonna change out this. Do you want to book an appointment? We have them the custom balance here. I don't really think we do anymore. Let's make sure we do that. That custom value thing. Custom value is gonna be great. When is a good time to schedule a work roofing? Well, simple as that. Beautiful. So now we test it. <laughs> All right. One thing to note when we're testing is that the conversation is stored under ChatGPT based upon the memory of the email. So whenever you're testing, you always wanna make sure you use a different email. Otherwise the conversations are kind of spliced together. You know, thick it all up. Leave my old contact here and we redo it. Now when it sends that out, it should automatically send out a message to me. Boom, like it. Sure, let me respond back, sure. And now we've got to wait to ensure that it goes out the zapper here and it's all A-okay. Place. I know we kind of just talking back and forth with this. I just want to make sure the AI bot is all set and ready to go. We'll go over here conversation AI. SMS, Facebook, Instagram, his name. So it's not, it's not trial, it's not training. Let me grab his site real quick. Make sure I put down here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it's, no, it doesn't. But even then, we don't really need this because like I always say on a lot of my videos is that right now, the go high level, pre, there's two portions about pre-qualification and the actual scheduling portion. The pre-qualification, go high level doesn't have that down yet, uh, especially when you're adding upsells and downsells. Like honestly, what we just did right now, it'll work with go high level, but it's a lot simpler and easier to do on Zapier. You know, when you're adding upsells and downsells and just making different things on here, maybe offering a free ebook and they don't have a budget, whatever, it doesn't really perform that well and go high level. So I always recommend first, I mean, obviously that's probably gonna change in the next two, three month, weeks, maybe even maybe a month, because go high level is always staying on top of trends. And I, that's why I freaking love go high level. Honestly, if it was a public stock, I'd trade it first. What I'm trying to say is that pre-qualification portion, we handle through Zapier to open AI and then back to Zapier and back to go high level. In which case, the actual scheduling portion where the bot then goes out to schedule the appointment, we have that all done and go high level the actual point setting bot because it does perform very well, all right? Because it's simple, you know? You go off a couple of times and it just schedules right in. So over here, do you have a budget in mind? I'm gonna say like 5K.
pretty much we're just going to do what we're doing right now is just going through the pre-qualification questions to make sure that on that last question, when it invites into a, a roofing estimate, that what it does is then going to put on the bot, bot status to then activate the scheduling bot and go high level. I'm going to let that go through and respond to here. Also, make sure that we have that bot on real quick. That's a good starting point. How else you look ASAP? I'm going to say. So make sure we get the bot on. I don't know if that turns it off. Cool. Oh, what's up there? All right, cool. I think that is the last question. So let's, let, let's go through here. Cool. I'll ask him for a quick roofing estimate. Now, so now the bot should, after I answer this question, now the bot should then say it. I'm free. Wow. So now that I respond as bot status should pop up. It should send out a couple of times. Okay, so I don't know too crazy about this last question here. Because what it says to move forward, I mean, it's working, which is great. But to move forward, I like to offer you a quick roofing estimate. When's the best time? So over here says, when's the best time? Uh, I want to change that really quick. I want to say, I'm going to say first, are you free this week? Then I'm going to have the bot on the actual go high level, which is this, say, great, what time, what day this week are you free? And then figure out a couple of times. All right. Are you free this week? I have this one over here, say, oh, first I want to reformat that as well, too, to go down one. But yeah, the bot's working. Let me just, before I even go into that, I also want to make sure it finally just books the actual appointment all the way to the end, you know, um, tomorrow, I'm going to say again. I don't know if I put it onto a calendar as well, too. Whenever I do these, you know, I was like, oh shit, did I do this, do this? But tomorrow. Really... Oh, perfect. It gave me some time, so we're good. So I did book it in the calendar. So you gave me some times. I'm gonna say it's sorry, we are booked in the time requested because Saturday they don't work. I'm gonna say Monday. I'm free. The only thing that we need here further is just an appointment reminder. And it should be a-okay. Ready to rock. One day. One day at 5.30. Just want to make sure his schedule is actually into their calendar over here. Let me see what calendar goes into real quick. It's like templates. Oh, that's why I set up. An extra calendar in there. Hopefully it gets in there prior to that. Yes. And it's a schedule the call in. Well, I mean, it's on the actual go ahead level bot right now. It's working there. Uh, scheduling it in. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to edit this really quick over here. Because I do want to change out that question, like we said. I'm going to change this out to make sure it's going to be the call to action. To me, what's the best time to have an appointment? Are you free this week for an appointment? I'm going to call it. Oops. 
Are you free this week for an appointment? Are you free this week for an estimate? That's pretty much it there. I mean, the bot's all set up there, guys. Like I said, if you guys want this done for you guys and a free funnel, and we set up the CRM for you, and you get access to our weekly strategy sessions, in which case you hop on a live with us, we help you out, and you get the private strategy support chat, and you're going to get the white label design on demand, guys, only for 150 bucks a month, guys. You got to be crazy if you don't, all right? But that's pretty much the bot all set up there. It didn't actually schedule it into the things. I just I changed out the workflow, and I kind of want to save you guys some time from me going through the entire conversation again. But it will schedule it right into your calendar over here. Like I said, I just changed around the workflow, so I kind of fucked it up. But yeah, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, like I said, I think that was like 20 minutes we should have this AI chatbot, guys. Now it's set. And now what you can do is you can have a trigger so that whenever somebody submits a Facebook ad lead form, boom, it sends to the AI chatbot. So what I'm going to do with this, with this client over here, let me just stop sharing. Let me show off my handsome face really quick. What I'm going to do with this client, guys, is this is a roofing business. And I find the best way to really market like construction and contractors is it's, a, it's either you want roofing or you don't. So I always find that the best way to get the highest quality leads is not necessarily to run a Facebook ad just yet, but first is to run a Google keyword search-based ad. And I'll do two things. I'll do one or two things mainly, primarily, and I'm really focusing on this. First thing is you Google My Business because when it comes to services, local businesses like that, you know, Google My Business is going to be the top. Google is working really, really hard to kind of kick out websites and make people just primarily refer off of Google My Business. Because when you do things like ask your iPhone or your Android, uh, where there is a closest roofing company near you, it's going to pop up the Google My Business. It's not going to really pop up a website. So you need to really now do everything that you possibly can to ensure that your Google My Business ranks as very high as possible. And there's a couple of tricks to do that. Uh, first of all, obviously, people, it's like a business, you know, it's like, it's like, the more people that you have on it and you go my business seeing it, the more it's going to get ranked, obviously, because people, Google is a business. It wants to keep people on Google. So the more people are searching out your Google My Business, the more people are leaving reviews in your Google My Business, the more people that are just viewing the pictures in your Google My Business are all going to result in just ranking the Google My Business up higher. Okay. A couple of other things that you can do is you can, it ranks based upon proximity as well, too. So people that are searching out that Google My Business, you need to be certain proximity with them for you to search up, which also means is that you. You can just open up a bunch of like PO boxes, like small mailboxes and open up a bunch of different Google My Businesses throughout the entire state. So you can really just encompass all of your state and make sure that it's ranked. Other thing is, is also just being very active in your Google My Business. The more active you are in your Google My Business, the more you're posting, the more it's going to rank, you know, specifically just reviews in itself account for like 15 to 20% of your overall Google My Business ranking. So make sure that you get a whole bunch of reviews. Matter of fact, we actually have a social media booster that allows you to get a whole bunch of reviews on. And it's with the Funnel Hacker Lab membership, it's coming out next week, actually. And it's going to allow you to just get a whole bunch of reviews really, really quickly onto your Google My Business, your Facebook. You know, it gets, allows you to get a whole bunch of followers onto your Facebook and likes as well. So it shows engagement, you know, shows that you're a legitimate company. You know, so all the things really just helps. Also, like I said, keywords, when you're posting your Google My Business, make sure you're using keywords that people are actually searching up. You know, as I was explaining before, Donovan LLC isn't really a good keyword based uh, company name. It should be Donovan Roofing or the best roofing in Orlando, Florida should be your Google My Business, should be Google My Business name and it should be everything that's on Google My Business posts so that whenever somebody searches up the best roofing company in Orlando, Florida, you're going to be popping up. Kind of just makes sense. You know, it's simple. You know, uh, Google My Business is a very hot, big factor on getting service-based businesses, construction businesses, roofing businesses, a lot more work. But another thing that also works too is Google keyword search ads. So you run a Google keyword search ad specifically to, you know, search up Google trends, find what people are actually searching up in your audience, in your, in your, in your vicinity. It's probably gonna be like best roofing business in Orlando, Florida. So run an ad to there so that you pop up first so that your website and also your Google My Business pop up first in that, you know, might be something else like best uh, leaky roof repairs in Orlando, Florida, you know, uh, leaky roof in Orlando, Florida, roof repairs, roofing replacement, uh, solar panel, uh, roofing, whatever, all those key words, you're going to, you're going to make sure that your website and your Google My Business pops up for all those keyword search base. Because whenever somebody's actually searching up, they're a lot more likely to convert than you putting up a simple Facebook ad 
And people are saying that, like, oh, I just happen to need roofing. You know, when somebody needs a roof repair, they're actively looking it up. It just doesn't just pop up on their social media feed and they're like, oh, I need roofing. You know, that's, I mean, that's a very rare case I'm trying to say. So the best way to run ads to it is keyword search based and then retarget the shit out of everybody that visits the website through all the platforms, really, you know, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. Okay. And also as well, uh, billboards and other things like radio broadcasts and also things like I've seen even putting your ad up on menus and Yelp and things like that also works very well, but goes against the the controversial argument is what's better, Google My Business or Yelp? Honestly, I believe Google My Business is a lot more uh, worth it to spend your time on to get really ranked because Google My Business overall, Google is a billion dollar corporation. Yelp, Yelp might be a million dollar corporation. I really do see Google My Business I really do see Google. Uh, I really do see Google pushing towards Google in itself rather than Yak Yelp, because you know Google is the primary search engine. So why would Google really send people to Google or send people to Yext or to a different website when they can just send people over to Google My Business? And that's what I really do see happening within the next couple of years. So what I'm trying to say, get out of this, is to really just market the SHIT out of this, is Google keyword search-based campaigns obviously run the other retargeting campaigns on all your social media platforms. And then make sure your Google My Business is really, really ranked high for those specific keywords towards your business. And then obviously making sure you have the proper sentence in the place like this AI chatbot to make sure that we handle any tech message coming in, you know, make sure that you have VAs on, on call or make sure your business isn't big enough. You have the roof and business in business enough. Make sure that goes to a business line as well too. That's also recorded. And that also sets up a, if you missed a call, it sets up a reminder to call them back and it sends them a text message as well. To make sure it calls them back as well too. So just having those proper systems into place to make sure that, that leads coming in, inbound leads coming in that are looking for you, you know, are just properly handled, you know, because all of these, this is all high ticket clients. All these tickets are at least a grand and above, you know, a lot of these roofing jobs are five, 10 bands and above. So you want to make sure you're not going to get a ton of clients in, but you're going to get a whole lot of quality clients in. So you really want to make sure you have the proper CRM, the proper systems in the place that you're keeping track of every single lead that's coming in. Because if somebody, if somebody comes in for that needs, if a lead comes in that needs roofing, your chances are to make, make five grand off of that at the very minimum. Okay. So you want to make sure that every single lead is accounted for, accounted for, for so that they're not going to some other business so that you're constantly sending them emails and text messages and voicemail drops saying, Hey, we're the best roofing company in the world. Make sure you don't go to anybody else. You know, because sometimes the process of closing a roofing business, you know, that a roofing sale that might take a week, might take a, two weeks, might take a month. It could take the, the one day. You don't know. You know, that the uh, future is unpredictable. So I'm trying to say is that make sure you have the proper systems in place so that when they do need the roofing, they're ready to close. They go to you. Okay, guys. And that's all that stuff is down in the Funnel Hacker Lab membership, in which case it's our job to help you automate, elevate, and then liberate you from your business, guys. So if you guys need help, there's nobody more dedicated to scaling your business than us over at Funnel Hacker Labs. I really strongly encourage that you check out the Funnel Hacker Lab membership. You guys, we want to see you guys win. Because ultimately, the more you win, the more we're going to win as well, too. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope this helps. Peace out. See you guys at the top.